again, Gabby here with Interest Analytics, and this week in my tutorial I thought I would do a quick demonstration of the Adobe Reports and Analytics Data Extract tool. Um, I did kind of gloss over it a little bit um, in previous videos, and I just wanted to kind of um, demonstrate it. So, for example, I am going to be using the Return Frequency Report for this demonstration. Um, when you go up in your upper uh, navigation and you click More, um, Data Extract is an uh, available option. On reports where um, the back end um, allows it to run, and so not all reports are going to have it. If, if for some reason um, the extract data or data extract um, is not listed there, it just means it's just not available for that specific report. Um, and so you're just going to have to kind of like when you're running a report and you want to do a data extract, if if, if you click more and it's not there, you know don't. Uh, open a help desk ticket because it's just not going to be available for that specific report. Um, but for return frequency, it is an available report, so we will just go ahead and click on that. It brings up a, a pop up window, and I'll just kind of move it into the center here. And then here you have um, some options, and you can actually change the report that uh, you're using here. And all of the available reports are available here, so you don't even have to run um, a data extract on the specific report you're in. You can run it on any report um, that uh, you see available there. Um, and then you can also um, match it with a segment if you have um, any kind of segments. So if I wanted to just look at visits from LinkedIn or YouTube or whatnot, um, I could do so, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, one of the nice things with Data Extract is that you can kind of play around with um, the way the data lays out. So right now by default, um, it's going to do the return frequency um, types here. Um, and you can see return frequency is less than one day, three to seven days, etc. cetera, um, based off of the visits uh, metrics um, filtered by date. Um, and right now the date is June 2014. Let's say, for example, um, I wanted to do it by date over here instead. Um, and f let's say I wanted to change the time frame. So you just kind of click on uh, the link of the date there. And then let's say I wanted to look at uh, January uh, through March, so basically first quarter, and I want to break it down by month. Okay, click OK, and you can see how it's going to do that there. So you have the the, the months here. Um, it gives you here the top one to fifty, and there's really there's only six <laughs> breakdowns um, in terms of return frequency. So there's no point in changing this. Although if you clicked on it, um, you could actually expand that out if there if if it made sense. Let's say if I was running this on a pages report or something, and you wanted to get more than the default 500 lines of data, if you wanted to get a thousand lines of data or whatnot, um, that's where this comes in. Um, and then for the metrics right now, it's defaulting to visits. And um, let's say I wanted to do um, unique visitors as well. And it's going to sort by visits. All right, so I'll click Next. And then you get two options. Uh, you get an option to add a bookmark. Um, and you can add it, you know, add bookmark, give it a name, put it into one of your bookmark folders, etc. Um, I don't recommend doing this just because um, it doesn't actually show the report in there. It just gives you um, a link in order to edit the thing and email it to yourself. Um, so basically, generally, you have to um, email it to yourself. Um, and then you have, you know, here's where you put your email addresses in. If, if you want to get it for yourself or if you want to send it out to someone else. Um, if you want to add it to a publishing list, um, and then you know if you want to change the subject line, and then scheduling if you want to send it immediately, if it's something that you want to monitor, and just send to yourself on a regular um, time frame, that kind of thing. I'm just going to send immediately and click Send. Uh, successfully schedule a report, click OK. And then it's going to pop up into my email. And uh, I actually went ahead and I ran a similar report to this um, earlier. Um, I didn't put visits, I didn't put two different metrics in here, so it's just visits right now. Uh, but uh, it came up in Excel and I saved it as a PDF because I, I actually don't have Excel on this computer. But, um, you know, so this is basically what it would look like if I stuck with just visits. So here's my three months. 
Um, here's the different um, frequency uh, types. Um, and then here are the visits based on that frequency type. So you can see that um, in less than one day traffic, um, it, I had more traffic in January with, with um, uh, less than one day uh, returns versus um, February and March, which had less, etc. So that's basically how you run uh, and use the uh, data extract tool um, in this uh, in Adobe Reports and Analytics. Um, if you are finding these tutorials helpful, please like them um, and uh, please uh, share them. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. And until next week, take care. Bye-bye.